Hi, welcome to Dice Control Dojo. I'm Phil, and I practice every day and share my tips so we can all get better at the casino. Today, we're talking about watching your landing zones, the changes in the landing zones. So we're going to talk about my first five throws, uh, my three zones I practice at, what happens with the chips, and um, also, too, I want to discuss we're on day seven of my 360 throws. And I'm going to put that video right up over here in, in fast form so you can see how I'm doing. And uh, at the end of day 10, and I have all 360 throws, I'm going to share that with you and share what how it works and what's going on with it. So I hope you tune in to the show right before we go to Vegas. I'm very excited. So landing zone changes. So what is that all about? So you're coming out. You have a come out right? And what's going on with the come out? You have everybody putting their dice down. You have different bets going on here. Uh, everybody puts their their pass line bet down, no odds. And so on your first throw, when you're going down there, your, your throw uh, is nice and open, right? And and you're throwing and everything's going okay. And say it's an eight, all right? So it's a six, two, eight. So then what happens? Stick, stick puts it here. People start putting their money down. And what are they doing? They're putting money down on the odds behind their pass line bets, right? And so what happens? You get people doing come betting. You got people doing the field, and all of a sudden, you're just in your zone, right? You're here focused, and then the dice come to you because you're like, okay, here is where the three is going. I'm visualizing a uh, six, three, nine. Uh, I come and go like this, and look, oh my God, right there's my landing zone, right here, right where I wanted it. To throw it is a guy that's got a stack of chips up there. What do you what do you do about that? So this is what I want to talk about. This is why I like the first five throws. My first five throws, if you go back to my video, um, I'm not betting on myself. I'm just uh, getting used to the table. So my first time around, my I'm I'm going to be dead catting that that to understand where my muscle memory is right. And then I'm picking three different sites on where I'm going to throw. Well, while you're doing that, you can also see how these guys are betting down there. So you can adapt your first three throws to a zone that you feel you can hit. Like if they're putting down their dice and their odds here, right? Am I going to try and be in between here, here? Am I going into the corner? Do I have to reach way out? Maybe, maybe this zone's open way out here, and I have to reach way out. Well, if you're practicing every day like I ask you to do, you're working on nine different zones, right? Nine different places that you should be able to, to pick. And if I can throw it out here, and this is a nice safe zone, then you should be able to have a good muscle memory on how to reach way out to be able to get out there, okay? So let's say the nine hits, everybody's putting their tables up, things are going well, and you're about to throw again. So what are you doing? You did your payouts, you're waiting for the dice to come this way, and, you know, what happens, right? you got to pay attention. Somebody never, never ends that they're going to stack up a bunch of dice up on you, uh, chips on you, uh, or throw a dice in, a uh, chips in at the last minute. So what do you do with that? So remember, when you're visualizing, you're going to pick a landing zone. Keep an eye on the area. You don't want somebody to just sneak in there while you're back to basics here and you're, you're grabbing your dice, you're looking at your turn. Now you come up and look and, oh, my God. Right, there's my uh, landing zone, and there's a big stack of chips on it. 
so you have to make sure you're adapting your throw to that. You want to make sure you're not going at any angles so you ruin your chances of, um, you know, you, you don't want to be throwing at angles. Which that's going to just cause you to be random. So you have to make sure you have the right zone. Now, with my buddy that's over here, sometimes he's, it, this is a big dispute on if you tell people to move their chips. I never do while I'm throwing because I just think it's a jinx, right? Because usually those people are like, oh, yeah, he's a fancy thrower. And then one throw in, I'm seven and out. And then I'm like, well, I look like a fool. But a lot of times, my buddy down here and my buddy over there will just say, hey, do you mind uh, moving your chips a little bit? Because my friend likes to throw right there at the beginning. And a lot of people are like, yeah, okay, whatever. And they do it. it. We haven't had too many people that have it. But on the back end of that, if you're a dice control thrower, you don't want to make yourself any more noticeable for the casino than you are, right? You don't want to be thinking that um, we, we have some big secret that we're going to be making lots of money on the casino. So you don't want to disturb the, the chi of the table too much. And you don't want people kicking you out because you're a control thrower. Some casinos still don't like control throwers. So uh, I don't want to pay it, uh, make any more attention to myself. That's why it's very important you get those dice and you move it fast. And you just get to where you want to go and you throw it. So if you are only taking a few seconds, you have to pay attention to what's going on down there. You have to see if there are chips all of a sudden being dumped. Inevitably, we see somebody that just likes to stack a big pack, pack of chips right behind there for odds. And sometimes they may do it at the last minute. So what do you do in that case? You're getting your zone. You're picking your landing zone. Everything seems fine. You're relaxed. You're waiting for the chips to come, I mean, the dice to come to you. And then you go to grab them, and you come up, you look, and all of a sudden somebody just decides to do one of these things. Because how many times have we seen this? Right? All right, what do you do? They just put some stacks in your way. Step away. Just relax. Step away. Don't get upset. Just get back to your breathing. Don't worry about them. They put in a last minute bet, just back away. They can pull the dice back, that's okay. Then they hand it back to you, get back to your rhythm, relax, pick your zone, and just keep going. All right? So, inevitably, there are people out there that don't have the right etiquette for a casino table, one of which is once the dice are out, that's why they say dice out. At that point, all bets should not be done. And inevitably, somebody's going to pitch, pitch, pitch a chip down or uh, be something flying in the air. Or you're on this side. And at the last minute, you see somebody do this right on your, you know, you're, you're getting up here to go and you see or you hear this right on your backswing. So. There's a lot of things that can happen, not just with the landing zone, but people inappropriately betting, and that's going to cause angst to you. It's always good to back away, relax, don't yell at anybody, keep your focus and your visualization on the throw at hand, and throw it. Now, if you're upset and the bets are all bad, Omaha. We have an expression, Omaha, with our team. That means all bets are off, right? We're done. Everybody's off. So if I'm not liking what's going on, and I will call an Omaha, and my, my craps crew know instantly there's something wrong with me. I don't feel good, and I don't like where the chips are or whatever. So Omaha, I call off my bets. Then I just, my bets are down. They throw an off. I'll throw an off on my bets, whatever they are, 
So then I just try and power through and I'll just throw it. And then whatever happens, happens. That way I got a second to reprieve and then I go, okay, we're back on again. But it's important for you to communicate with your team what you're doing. If you don't feel comfortable throwing it, either back away and don't throw it and reset. Or if it's just not comfortable, just say you're off. That way that takes the pressure off of you on your throw. Then that way you can just throw it. It doesn't matter. You don't have any bets. So if you have a couple of come bets up, you're, you're not even going to lose that much money. And then you're able to reset. You may be able to tell people to, you know, get things going so there's no last minute betting. So I hope this helped. Uh, I hope I wasn't all off on a tangent here. I like my first five throws to see what landing zone it is. And I do that so I can have three different spots to throw it just in case those dice, I mean, those chips end up in a place I don't, I, I'm trying to find as a landing zone and they're not going to move it. So it's important for you to take care of yourself and make sure that you're able to power through, right? If the dice aren't, you're not feeling comfortable, pull away, start again, or not, just call in Omaha, just be off. That way you take, you know, your all your odds, take your odds off, and then throw, get through that, and then see if you can reset for the next throw. I hope that helped. Um, join me tomorrow where we're going to talk about don't players um, and a respectful uh, discussion about don't players. When you're a, a, a dice control thrower, how do uh, don't players influence in your throw? So join me tomorrow. And as always, we don't talk about betting strategies, but I promise you, if you practice, 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 you're going to throw for a long, long time. Thank you.